recently I've gotten the itch to get back to my roots and start making some more controllers because I've had this list of ideas piling up for a long time. So I'm steering the group in that direction for a little while and as we get new people in we get a lot of interns, a lot of uh, volunteers and, and people that are interested in learning the craft of musical robots and electronic music and sensors and all of this stuff. Uh, so I've had a lot of them working on new controllers. And uh, the first in a, in a new series of controllers, so we make this distinction between uh, the bots and the trons. The bots are the various robots, so Xylobot, Modbots, Guitarbot, etc. Uh, and now we have a whole series of instruments called things like the Slimatron and the Chimatron and the Slinkatron uh, and many more trons coming. The first instrument that uh, in this new series is called the Slimatron, and, and here's the slime, well, there goes some of the slime. <laughs> And uh, it makes music using slime. This is, you know, the same kind of slime uh, that y you would buy f for, you know, the kids get in stores, um, except that uh, we've added something to it to make it conductive. And we built this box based around a uh, controller that I make called Midi-Tron. Uh, I'm sort of obsessed with this Tron idea. And Midi-Tron is a... Uh, sensor to MIDI and MIDI to robotics interface. Uh, so we put a MIDI-tron in here, we created some sensing points, you'll see there's some copper nails in the bottom there, and it senses the, the conductive slime ac across the nails. And you play it basically by moving the slime around. And everyone loves playing the Slimatron. Well, not everybody. Uh, some people are completely creeped out by it. Uh, but, um, you know, most people get into it because it's, you know, it is deliciously tactile. And, uh, you know, it, well, that happens sometimes too. It, you know, it ebbs and flows and, and uh, it's, it's not how you typically think about playing an instrument. And that's, you know, that's interesting to me. So there is no, uh, s there's no standard uh, technique for playing the Slimatron. Um, no one teaches, uh, no one gives Slimatron lessons, so everyone has to make it up. And that's what's fun about these.